Hey, Todd Atlas here at the Sound Pier Recording Studios. Going to process a few guitars with the A Designs Hammer EQ. The kind of subtle shifts that the hammer can create is sort of the equivalent of switching from one preamp to another. And this can be an incredible tool for taking what may be a one preamp collection in your studio and making it sound like 20 different preamps. A program EQ like the A Designs Hammer may not be the best choice for surgically correcting um, a tom, but for doing broad stroke manipulations to things like guitars, it's, it's just an absolutely wonderful choice. So let's take a little listen to um, one of the well-recorded tracks we've got to work with, and then let's try some processes with the A Designs Hammer. Let's take a listen to the original recording of a Huston Dalton guitar from the Sound Pure Guitar Boutique with an XY pair of Mojave MA100s into an A Designs Pacifica. So what I've done here is I've increased a lot of low end at 200, I've pulled back some of the mids at 500, and I've increased a lot of the top at 7.5. I think what you'll get is again a scooped out sound. It's a different tonal characteristic, not right or wrong, but it's a really nice shift and shows what's possible with the hammer with even some pretty substantial swings in, in the EQ correction. Now let's take a listen to a Loudon guitar that was recorded from the Sound Pure Guitar Boutique with a pair of Sheps microphones and a Pacifica preamp. Now let's take a listen to the original dry recording without the EQ engaged. So let me bring in a little low end at 100 hertz and let me pull back a little mid range and boost a little air at 10k. And let's take a listen to the track processed with the hammer. So like it or leave what I did with the EQ, the hammer does an amazing job of preserving the integrity of the original performance without totally distorting that, and at the same time providing a coloration and tonal shift. Really, really excellent tool for this sort of thing. Now let's take a listen to one more acoustic guitar before moving on to electric. This is another great recording made with Neumann KM 184s through the A Designs MP2A tube microphone preamp. Again, we'll be able to hear how the hammer successfully processes the audio without badly disturbing the original performance. First, let's listen to the dry track.
to do some very, very similar settings for this guitar. Um, maybe pull a little bit less out of the mids, and let's boost at a slightly lower frequency, but otherwise leave it pretty much the same as we did for the last setting. And let me engage the hammer and take a listen to the results. Now I'm going to make some manipulations to a very well recorded electric guitar track. I'm not sure that I'd actually do anything to this track, but if I wanted to, the hammer would be the tool for the trade. You might want to make the top a little bit brighter or cut other frequencies in other ways. Hammer does a beautiful job of making these tonal changes nonetheless. Now let's take a listen to this electric guitar track, which is blended between a Royer 121 that went into an A-Design silver mic preamp and a Heil PR30 dynamic mic that went into the A-Design's red. Now let's take a listen to the newly processed track with the A-Designs hammer. I've boosted at 300, I've cut at 1.6K, and I've boosted again at 3.5 for a little brightness and edge. While that was a very bright guitar, perhaps too bright, the A-Designs hammer can do what you need it to do, and that's been demonstrated across this guitar collection and across many of our other videos featuring the A-Designs hammer. Give them a listen and give us a call at SoundPure if you have any questions about the hammer or if you'd like to pick one up. Yeah.